Hey everybody, Sherman again from the WP Buy Now team. And in this video I'm going to go over using your brand new buttons that have been placed within your page and post editors. Okay, WP Buy Now has placed eight new buttons in your editor. Okay, one of them is for inserting your WP Buy Now button. The next one is for inserting your WP Buy Now payment link. The next one is for creating your Buy Now copies left image. If you're doing a dime sell, this will automatically show the amount of copies left before the increment. This here will show the current price that the that the price is on your dime cell the current price the current increment that it's at with your dime cell okay this is for inserting affiliate content okay this one here is for inserting the WP buy now login form this one here is for your partially hidden content okay inside your editor you will be able to include your partially hidden content sentences that you want to show okay and on this one it's brand new one it's your on page one time offer button okay and this will only show up however many times you set it and it will only show up inside if you set it there's a couple different settings inside which we will go over in a minute here okay let's go ahead and start from the beginning here okay first of all let's okay first of all we'll go ahead and start from the beginning here okay you're gonna select your product and I've only got one product set up so far because I told you this was a clean installation you're gonna wanna select your payment button which I will go over in another video but for right now you're gonna know that you're gonna have to select your payment button you can add a tracking code here which will show up into your tracking stats and you don't have to add a tracking code if you don't want to it's your choice okay you push this button and it inserts a short code there that will show up when you update and publish your blog okay we'll go ahead let's go ahead and do that Okay, it's published and we'll view the page. And boom, you got your buttons showing up that you set up. Okay, I will go show you how to set those up in another video. Okay, let's go back here. Okay. Okay, here we are. Okay, next we will go to insert a payment link this is if you just want to insert a link instead of the button okay once again you choose your product next you choose the payment button that it will link to okay the payment method that you want to use for your payment link you put a title which is what will show up within the editor and it will be your link will be underneath of it okay and once again you can add your tracking code if you want to and once again you don't have to if you're not interested in tracking click that and it'll insert the payment link okay once again click update and view the page
PC can be slow, so I'm sure that it'll work when you want to look at it like that. I'm going to go ahead and go in this way. But all I'm going to do is view the page and show you that your link is now there. Okay? And if you click it, just bring you to the link, yep, that you set up earlier with your PayPal account or your alert pay or whichever you decide to use okay back to the buttons third button this is your copies left image okay this you will have set up within your new product okay if you want to insert this button you're gonna collect click the product that you want to use it on like I said I only have one product set up right now you can choose your button that you want to use there's a couple different ones we got there and you insert your image okay this one shows up right there I've sold one copy so there's only nine left okay next we have the current price short code once again you will choose your product that you want to put it under and you insert your short code okay this will show the current price that the product is at right there it will show the current price that the product is currently at under your dime cells okay we can take a look at that if we update it let's see if we'll go into the page this time yep brought it right up this time and right there seven dollars current price there's only nine left here's your link and here's your payment buttons okay next this is for adding affiliate content okay if you come down here let's go ahead and add our next feature here this is all things that you can add for your affiliates okay you can this is for basically when you create an affiliate page okay all these different things will show up within your affiliate page when you create it you will want to create affiliate page from the get-go so you can direct your affiliates to the correct page okay you can include their stats you can include their link their withdrawal stats their withdrawal form for requesting a withdrawal their payment deals details excuse me their registration form and the, lo and the login form you can put all that on your affiliate page okay and that is for you can choose your product that you will put the affiliate content on now this isn't meant for the sales page folks this button is meant for your affiliate page okay so we can insert it here but it's not meant to be here okay that will be that will be put on a affiliate page that you create okay next button this is your insert WP buy now login form okay this is for like the landing page it will prompt them to log in before they receive their say download link their protected content their whatever you want to put behind they after they log in okay they will be directed to a page that you represent on the inside this is the login form for your product okay let's push update and I'll show you what that produces okay I'm currently logged in and that's why it's not going to show but when you do that this will show a login box 
for anybody that comes to your page okay you can put that in any page that you want you will probably create it on the download page or the landing page where your customers will access immediately following a purchase okay that that is where that comes in most useful but you can indeed put it wherever you choose okay let's see we are at the partial hide okay you will indicate what what will show in this button in your settings when you set up your product okay and when you click this button you're gonna once again so you're going to once again select your product and then you're going to inside when you create your members you're going to have the option to put in your message but you can show that or you can put in your own and then you push this and it will put another short code in there update view the page here we go again <laughs> alright let's do it this way again this won't happen to you folks this is just my browser in particular okay right here this is where you will add your hidden content okay in between here right here this is where you will add your hidden content or I'm sorry this is this will I'm sorry this will be the message that will bring them to your hidden content okay this will be the message that brings them to your hidden content which you will want to put in here okay edit in here in your regular editor okay and then finally we come to the last button here this button will add a one-time offer onto your page okay here you can select the product and if you do the one-time offer will only just be displayed after the consumer purchases your product okay if you choose independent the one-time offer will show up on any page no matter what okay whether the user had purchased or not here you can choose how many times the one-time offer will be shown okay basically the once is is normal but you can set it up however however you want to do it okay you insert the one-time offer block and you push update okay view the page and this is where you will put your offer okay this is a, what will show up in between on your short code okay I'm going to show you right now where you put that right here is where you will add your offer you can put whatever you want in here and you go ahead and you edit it through your normal editor okay you can put your offer there and then edit it and put a link to whatever you want to a PayPal button to a PayPal link to another page within your site you can do whatever you want okay and this will only show the amount of times that you programmed it in here okay how many times you want it to be viewed okay review the page and it's gone this is the second time you've been here it's now gone okay that's how the one time offer button works I hope that's all clear we've went over all eight buttons in this video and in the next video we will go over another portion of our plugin WP by now I hope this helped 
thank you that's the end of this video on the next video we will go over the hits and sells tab thank you very much for tuning in folks